Hello and uh, welcome to tutorials from Libre Programming. In this uh, part uh, we will learn about uh, C programming using Eclipse. So to download Eclipse you go to eclipse.org and uh, you say download Eclipse and uh, then you can download the C++ version. Mine is 64 bit, so I downloaded it 64 bit. You can download 32 bit if your Linux is 32 bit. Okay. So I downloaded in Home Benita Downloads, Eclipse.zip, which you can unzip. And then you can make a link like this to user bin so that it can be readily accessible. And uh, you can launch it using Alt F2 Eclipse easy part. You will need GCC. So, you need to say apt-get install GCC. You will need make also. So, install both of them. For me, both are installed. And uh, then you can launch Eclipse. So, now forget about this. First question is, why should we learn C? Why should we not learn C++? or Java, maybe Python, Ruby, PHP. Well, it's a rather difficult question. You can learn anything you want. You can start anywhere you want. Let's discuss these languages one by one. C++ is based on C. It's a superset of C. And every C program is supposed to be compilable by a C++ compiler. Then let's come to Java. The JVM itself is written in C, C++. PHP, Python, Perl, Ruby, all interpreters are written in C, C++. The bindings of Java or PHP, Python, Perl and Ruby are in C. So, C is your least common denominator. This is one point. Second point is, no matter how much you deny the fact that you do not need speed because your hardware has improved, you need performance, particularly from operating systems. You can say that C++ gives comparable performance, but let me say that C++ will give up to 95% performance of C. The reason being, the complexity of C++ using virtual functions gives you dynamic binding, right? But when you have dynamic binding, you have performance hit. So, C gives you throughout static binding. That is, everything is determined at one time. Of course, C++ comes into picture when you have got code reuse, it is very easy to do code reuse in C++. It is very powerful, no denying that. It gives you object-oriented programming. It gives you generic programming using templates. There is no way I can deny that C++ is a highly powerful language. Every programming language has its own place. It depends what you want to do with that language. Similarly, C has its place. If you want to write low-level, fast, optimized code, then C is the place where you will have to go to. If you realize that GNU has C as its official language, Richard Stallman says, most of the people know C as its programming language. So, if you write your program in C, an open source software, then there is a very high chance that other people can modify your program and then they can change it and add to it. But if you write in some language like C++, then there are less number of people who know C++. For example, take the case of Linus Torvalds who says he wrote Git using C because not many competent C++ programmers are available. 
Maybe he is right, maybe he is wrong. I am not going to debate that. The point is, C itself is complex. C is not an easy language to program in. It, you are prone to errors. C++ is even more prone to program, more prone to errors. So, and uh, other point is that a lot of code has been already written in C. A lot of code. And to learn C++, you should learn C a bit. Of course, you can learn C++ in its entirety, but if you learn C, then you know like maybe 30% of C++. Things will become much easier if you learn C first. It's a natural progression if you want to learn C++, then you should learn C first. Note that if you want to run Eclipse, then you should have Java installed. So, to run Java, let's see Java C. Okay, I have installed the package to install Java is open JDK on Linux. So, you need to install probably this or this. Basically, you need a Java runtime environment and uh, so, you just need the Java command in JRE. So, either this or this will work and your Eclipse will run. Okay, so I have created a project called Hello, let's delete this. Let's delete this from hard disk. So, you click on File, say New, C Project, and say Hello World, and you say Linux GCC. You need to give your project name. If you want to change the default location, you can change, but I just put it in workspace, it hardly matters. So, let's say finish. Okay, this is the template of a basic C program. This is comment. This is not part of code. This is for decoration purpose, instructional purpose. Anything between flash star and star flash is a comment. The problem is, if you terminate like this, then this will become the closing one and we have issue here. This is a syntax error. Be careful with this. These are headers. Let's remove this one for now. This will be extra complexity. Okay. So this is our main function. Don't worry about anything as of now. It's a header, it's a main function. We'll deal what is a main function. It's a put s function. No need to bother. It's a return statement. We simply are interested in building and running this as of now. So we say build. This is our build. So we say build. And then we say run. So it prints hello world. Okay, easy, right? Certain things in order. You right click your project, select properties, go to C build, go to behavior. Make sure you check this box and we check this one enable parallel build and build on resource save make sure you do that it will save your life i mean a lot of time of your life so the moment you will change the file it will change i mean compile the program and you can run it straight away so think again why should you bother learning c we will dissect this program in our next part to recapture the concepts uh, of this part is if you want to do system programming if you want to do device driver programming if you want to do game programming if you want to do high performance computation then you should learn c you should learn c plus plus also all the interpreters are written in C and C++. If you want to write your own interpreter, your own language, then you have to write it in C++. Lots of code is already written and C is very fast. C++ is also fast. And you can do web programming also. There is There are two, three tools which I know at least. One is called WT at webtoolkit.eu 
another is cppcms at cppcms.com and third is prefrog framework i do not remember the url so it is possible to do web programming with c++ one of the days when c++ used to be very dangerous it is still dangerous but not very dangerous there are several things which have come into c++ and uh, you need to learn c++ it's not a simple language in order to learn c++ you need to learn c well c also is kind of involving because languages like perl php java do not have pointers they do not deal with memory content directly however c and c++ deal with memory contents directly they give you the lower level interface to memory therefore they are complex but they are powerful also so that's where i'll stop and uh, in next part we will dissect this program and we'll see how it works that's it for now ah, by the way let me explain this property thing forgot to explain if you check this box whenever you make a change to program it will recompile it and you do not need to compile again and again before running and this is enable parallel build for our tutorials it is not necessary to have parallel build but when you have big projects which uh, comprises of say hundreds or thousands of files then this will save you a lot of time my processor is a quad core processor so i can compile four files at one time if you have got better processor uh, and better machine maybe you can run a eight threads for compilation you can compile eight files in one at one time so uh, the time will be reduced to one fourth or one eighth depending on your machine therefore you should always check these two as best practice so see you in next part enjoy